The topic for this video is iterative in order traversal. So as we have seen in the previous video, in order traversal is first we visit the left subtree, then we visit the root, and at the last we visit the right subtree. So the order is left, root, and right. So root is listed second. We saw the recursive implementation of the in order traversal. So in order traversal of this tree is this. I also explained a shortcut method where we just travel along the edges and then print the nodes whenever we visit them second time. If you have any doubts on the recursive approach or the shortcut method, then I will link a video on the top right corner. You can have a look there. So in this video, we'll see how we can do the iterative implementation for the in order traversal. So whenever we are converting a recursive based method to an iterative method, we make use of stack because recursion uses implicit stack, which is provided by the system. So when we are converting recursive approach to an iterative approach, we use a stack. So let's see the pseudo code. So the first step is we create a empty stack. So we have the stack. Then we keep a variable current, which is of type tree node, and it is pointing to the root of the tree. A is the root. So current node is pointing to A. Then we have this while loop, which we run while current is not equal to null or stack is not empty. So here current is not null. So we go inside the while loop, we check this if condition. So this is also true. So we push current on the stack. So we push A. And now current will point to the left of A. So left of A is D. So current will now point to D. Then we again come in the while condition. We check current is not equal to null and we push current on the stack. So we push D on the stack. And current will point to left of D, which is H. Then we again check the while condition. So current is not null. We push current on the stack. So we push H and current will point to the left of H, which is null. We again check the while condition. So now current is pointing to null, but the stack is not empty. So we go inside the while loop, but we come in the else condition. So now current will be pointing to top of stack. Top of the stack is H and then we pop from the stack. So we pop H from the stack and we print the value of current. So we print H and current will point to right of H. So right of H is null. So current is pointing to null. Then we again come in the while condition. So current is null, but the stack is not empty. So we again come in the else condition. We set current to the top of stack. So current is pointing to D and then we pop from the stack. And we print the value of current. So we print D and current is pointing to right of D. So right of D is L. Then we again come in the while condition. So current is not null. We push current on the stack. So we push L and current will point to left of L, which is P. We again check the while condition. Current is not null. We push current on the stack and current will point to left of P, which is null. Now we check the while condition. So current is null, but the stack is not empty. So we come in the else condition and current will point to top of stack, which is P. We pop from the stack and we print the value of current. And now current will point to the right of P, which is null. Now again, we check the while condition. Stack is not empty. So we come in the else condition. Current will point to top of stack, which is L. We pop from the stack and we print the value of current. Now current will point to right of L, which is null. We again check the while condition. So stack is not empty. So current will point to top of the stack which is A. We pop from the stack. So the stack is now empty. And we print value of current. So we print A. And current will point to right of A, which is Z. Now current is not Z. So we push current on the stack. So we push Z. And current will point to left of Z, which is null. We again come in the while condition. Current is null, but the stack is not empty. So we come in the else condition. Current will point to top of the stack. We pop from the stack. So stack is again empty. We print value of current and current will point to right of Z, which is C. So while current is not null, so current is C, we push C on the stack and current will point to left of C, which is null. Now we check the while condition. Current is null, but the stack is not empty. So we come in the else condition. We set current to top of the stack. So it becomes C. We pop from the stack. So stack is now empty. We print value of current, which is C. 
and we set current to right of C, which is E. We again check the while condition. So current is not null. So we push current on the stack. We push E and we set current to the left of current, which is null. We check the while condition. So current is null, but the stack is not empty. So we set current to the top of the stack. Now we pop from the stack. So stack is empty. We print the value of current and we set current to right of E, which is null. Now we come in this while condition. So current is null and the stack is also empty. So this while loop terminates here and this is our in order traversal. So in this way, we can find the in order traversal using iterative approach. Now time complexity of this traversal is order of n, where n is number of nodes, which is because all the nodes can point in one direction like this. So in that case, height will be equal to number of nodes. So the time complexity of in order traversal is order of n. Now, once we've understood this iterative approach, let's see how we can implement this. So all the code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. So in the main function, I've created the tree. So the root node is A and left of it is pointing to D. So in this manner, I've initialized all the nodes of the tree. Then I call this function in order traversal and I'm passing the root node. So in this function, in order traversal, I created a stack which is of type tree node. Then I keep a variable current which is initially pointing to root of the tree. Then a while loop is run while current is not equal to null or stack is not empty. Then I have this if else condition. So if current is not pointing to null, I push current in the stack and I go to the left of current. Otherwise, I pop it from the stack and print it and then I go to the right of current. So I run this while condition while the stack is not empty or current is not pointing to null. So all the nodes in the in order traversal will be printed in this else condition. Now let's have a look at the output of this program. So the in order traversal is HTPLAZCE. So that was all for this video. If you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.